it, it's, it, it's, it just it blows me away when I think about it. Because God the Father gave you to the Son, you came. You believed. That's how you believed. All of your resistance was overcome, right? You came to Jesus because the Father gave you to the Son. Now, uh, often, often, people's immediate response to that statement is this. Hang on a second. What about my free will? Like, like did I not have a choice in this? What, what about my free will? As I can, as in, in the most loving way that I can say this, listen to me. You were never free. You were never, you thought you were free, but you were a slave to sin. You, you were a slave to your own depravity. You were a slave to sin. Every single one of us, slaves to sin, slaves to carnality, slaves to selfishness, blind and dead, to, to use Paul's terms in Ephesians, blind and dead in your sin and trespasses, unwilling to come, unable to come. Sin was your master. You were a slave. You weren't any more free than a dead slave chained to the bottom of a grave. That was your idea and your understanding of freedom. But what happened was, in a moment, God broke into your life. He took the chains off. He opened up the tomb. He gave you a new heart. He gives you eyes that have an ability to see and value Christ. And everything is transformed. And in a moment, you open up your eyes and you see Jesus standing there. And it's like, what else would you do in that moment? It's like, I'm coming to you, Jesus. It is the freest moment in your entire life. Listen to me. Everything else is slavery. 